Ciao everyone! Today we are going to Orvieto, a beautiful town in the Umbria region. You can reach Orvieto very easily on a day trip from Rome, and that's what we're doing. Orvieto is such a small town, but still so condensed with things to see that eventually you realize that one day won't be enough. In this video you will see what we managed to see in one day in Orvieto and we'll tell you what to prioritize in case you have a short time based on our personal experience. Let's start! Well, we just arrived, we just got our ticket. This is called the Carta Unica and it includes all the sites that you want to see in Orvieto. Let's see if we managed to see all of them in one day. So the first stop for today is Pozzo di San Patrizio, the well of St. Patrick. Let's go! This well was built during the Renaissance times, to be exact, when the sack of Rome took place in 1527. The Pope of the time was Clement VII. He fled Rome and he transferred here to Orvieto. Given his previous experiences, the Pope made sure the town of Orvieto had plenty of water in case of siege and he ordered the construction of this well. This well is 54 meters deep, which equals to 177 feet. This well has one way down and one way up, because it has two helicoidal ramps which do not cross each other. You might not realize this until you get to the very bottom. Mules were used to go down to the well, collect the water and bring it back upstairs, and that is why the steps are quite shallow. To avoid a sense of claustrophobia, the ceiling in the corridors or where the stairs are progressively become higher the more you go down. Until a moment before you get to the very bottom, you still have a sense that this bridge never ends. That is why in Italian, when something is never ending, we usually call it the Pozzo di San Patrizio, the well of St. Patrick. After visiting the Pozzo di San Patrizio, before you actually leave this little path, turn to the right. Here you will find a gate. Enter this gate and take a quick look at this ancient Etruscan temple. This temple dates back from the 5th century BC. What we can see today is only the podium where the temple was laying on and the stairs leading up to the temple. But if you use a little of your imagination and the help of the reconstruction on this panel as you enter on your left, you can see how majestic this temple used to be. Now let's head to the center of the town of Orvieto and to get there from the Pozzo di San Patrizio we have to walk past these cute little squares, narrow alleys, cats showing off their moves. The town of Orvieto used to be an Etruscan town. Then the ancient Romans conquered the town but they abandoned it and then for centuries nothing was here. Until at some point in the Middle Ages, in medieval time, there was a rebirth of the city and that is why the city has this major evil look. Now as we walk through the little alleys all of a sudden we can see the spikes of the Duomo of Orvieto, the biggest church in town. The Duomo of Orvieto began its construction works in the 1200s and it was completed only 300 years later at the end of the 1500s. The majesty of this building is so incredible and you don't expect to find such a huge church after you walk through those little narrow alleys of such a small town. We were planning to enter the Duomo now, but, because, but it's closed because uh, it's a Sunday and it's 12.20, so there's a mass going on inside. So on Sunday, the Duomo opens at 1 p.m. 1, not 1, <laughs> or 1 p.m. And so we're going to wait for that. So what we're going to do, we actually just booked uh, a visit to Orvieto Underground. So excited about it. And we're going to start in about 10 minutes. We'll do the underground tour and then we'll come back to the Duomo afterwards. The underground tour is very close to the Duomo, actually is in the same square. So this is the Duomo, this is the square of the Duomo and that's where the underground tour is. So in that office you can get the ticket for the underground tour and it's going to be through a guided tour. So there will be a guide taking you in the undergrounds. And this is also included in the Carta Unica, in the ticket, which includes all the major sites of uh, Orvieto. At the scheduled time, the guide took us to this little path from where you can see the view uh, from above the rock of the of Orvieto, because Orvieto is a citadel on top of the rock. And then we enter this area. This is the underground Orvieto. The guide explained us that there's over 1,200 grottos underneath the modern town of Orvieto. These are the biggest caves that you can visit at the moment in Orvieto. The other caves are for the most part private properties and they are used as wine cellars or basements. But why are there so 
so many caves below the town of Orvieto. You need to imagine that the town of Orvieto is currently built on top of a rock made of tufa stone, which is a stone which has a volcanic origin. And the tufa stone instead lays on a layer of clay, the clay that comes from the sea deep of millions of years ago. Water seeps through the tufa stone, but then it stops where the, it reaches the layer of clay and that's where the water is accumulated. The Etruscans knew that, they discovered that and they started to excavate caves to reach that water that was in between the layer of clay and the layer of tufa. And that is also why the Pozzo di San Patrizio was built, to reach the water below the tufa stone. Later on these caves from the 6th century onwards were also used for the breeding of pigeons. That is why we can see all of those little hollows on the walls, those were the pigeon holes. And that was a very efficient way of breeding because the pigeons would fly out, feed themselves with food and come back here to sleep in their pigeon holes. So the breeder didn't have to worry about feeding the bird. Now it's time for lunch before we head out to the Duomo. It's lunch time. So we stop at this bistro. Show you what we order. So as first course we order tagliatelle with truffles. We just grated the truffle in front of us, in front of our eyes. I'm so looking forward to try this. So the most typical dishes in Orvieto are pasta with truffles or with uh, wild boar meat, uh, which is the truffle one, so let's see how it is. It's so good. The pasta was delicious, really delicious. So we couldn't resist and we ordered a, another dish. This is lamb, fried lamb together with fried artichokes, these are fried artichokes. But now it's time to go back to the Duomo. The Duomo is the symbol of the city of Orvieto and it's one of the most beautiful cathedrals of Italy. The facade is incredible and when you get closer you realize the endless tiny details that decorate this church. But now let's have a look at the inside. You will need to purchase a ticket to enter this Duomo, which is also included in the Carta Unica. Inside you will find a huge space, which also feels pretty much empty. This is because in the 1800s they decided to remove all the decorations added in the following centuries and return the church to its original medieval beauty. There's beautiful colorful mosaics on the floor, but the structure of the church is made in black and white. Black is basal stone, white is travertine stone. If you look at the apse, which is the area behind the altar, you will see these beautiful colorful frescoes depicting the scenes of the life of Mary. Here is Mary on a statue. She is jumping off her chair because in the same room, in the meantime, the angel entered to announce her pregnancy of Jesus. What we loved here is the contrast of these white, beautiful statues with their colorful background. But the real jewel in this cathedral is the first chapel at the right of the altar, the Chapel of San Brizio. This is a masterpiece of Renaissance painted by two major Renaissance artists, Beato Angelico, who started the chapel, and Luca Signorelli, who made the most of it and completed the frescoes. These frescoes represent very dramatic scenes, like the end of the world as described in the book of the Apocalypse, people fighting with demons. Here, for example, you can see this busy crowd of people fighting against the demons. You can distinguish the demons because they are in green colors. And the whole scene feels so scary. It feels like a last judgment scene. Included in your ticket, you also have the underground section of the Duomo. You can visit this in a very short time and it consists in a museum of the construction works of the Duomo showcasing the tools which were used to build the cathedral as well as previous decorations which were replaced over time. Sunset is approaching and we decided to visit the Torre del Moro, this tower located in the very city center of Orvieto. The entrance of this tower also is included in the Carta Unica that we bought at the beginning of this day. So this tower was built in the 1200s and it was used in medieval times to monitor the surroundings of the town of Orvieto. And you could tell, because from here you can see everything. And especially at sunset, everything turns orange. And from here you can get some really breathtaking views over the city. Look at the Duomo, lit by this orange sunlight of the sunset. And this is where we officially fell in love with Orvieto. Our last stop for the day is this, 
It's called Pozzo della Cava and is the most ancient well of Orvieto. Here you can explore three levels or tunnels and rooms. Imagine, this well was discovered by chance in the basement of a medieval house after three centuries of abandonment. It was excavated by Pope Clement VII. He expanded an Etruscan well which was already existing. This underground complex is huge and it includes nine caves where artifacts from the Etruscans, Middle Ages and Renaissance times were found. This place was also used as a furnace for the production of ceramic. And today, the owners of this place continue the production of ceramic in modern Orvieto style, in medieval style and in Etruscan style. And Pozzo della Cava also features a very special restaurant sitting right on top of the tunnels. Such an incredible lasagna of history. Okay, so it's 7.40 p.m. And we just finished our day in Orvieto. We haven't seen everything because there's so much to see actually. Uh, so there's only so much you can do in one day if you will also want to take your time and enjoy every single place where you go. Orvieto is amazing. It's super beautiful. It's a pretty little town with so much to explore. What I love the most is the underground sites. Actually, my favorite place was the Pozzo della Gava, yes, which is one of me, the... For me too. Did you like it Definitely, as well? Definitely, yes. Another special moment is when we went to the tower. We advise you to go at sunset, right at sunset, because the view from there is just amazing. And then this the sun goes down and colors everything in orange. It's super, super beautiful. Uh, and the Duomo, of course, that was very impressive. We're still missing some sites which we haven't seen. The one which, unfortunately, we didn't have time to, to do is the necropolis, the Etruscan necropolis, and that's something we're gonna come back for, for sure. And then there's also uh, some other museums which are still included in this card. And this is valid for one year, so if you come back in the same year, uh, you can still see the sites which you haven't managed to actually explore. Uh, we hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this video about this day trip uh, from Rome to Orviedo and uh, let us know what was your favorite part and if you have any questions and if you're planning to come to Orviedo as well. Thank you for watching and ciao! Ciao!